Wake up! Come on, wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night, a perfect storm of unholy truths. But in a T for teen kind of way, so don't freak out. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life. In one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you still have time to join the audience and potentially get killed by me. It's fun! Okay, I've only got this abandoned warehouse for another hour when the next killer gets here, so let's get a move on. Okay now, first question. So, I'll confess something. I've been ring shopping. That's right, I'm trying to find the perfect ring for this dismembered finger I have laying around. Say... What is diamond made entirely of? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Very good! Let's try another one. What Oscar-winning actor does the voice of Mr. Fish Odor on Bob's Burgers? said this which leaves only you prepare for your punishment welcome to the killing floor nothing says yep you're probably gonna die then taking a spin at the loser wheel go ahead and spin it Spin, my lovely! Spin! Oh, what an unexpected result! Look, there comes a time in every person's life when they die and become a ghost. But don't worry, ghosts love trivia party games, so you're still in this. You haven't lost or anything. I mean, I was a ghost for a while, but I got better. Here's how everyone's doing so far. It's real early though, so don't freak out. Let's try this again. Ah! I took my big brother's trombone apart to see where the music comes from, and now I can't get it back together. Andy's gonna be home any minute. You've got to help me. What's the knob on the trombone connected to? picked this one <laughs> everyone is wrong I have a surprise for you welcome back to the killing floor we're going to play chalices I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use pick a chalice to drop your poison in Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I keep thinking I should get a set of matching chalices, but each of these tells a unique story, you know? Ooh. 
Yummy, yummy. Now let's see what everyone drank. Race yourself. The poison touched your supple lips like, uh, uh, I have not finished that stanza yet. Only one player left, huh? Well, the end game is not quite ready, so let's do this. If you can survive the next two questions, I think the final round should finally be ready to go. It's worth the wait. Trust me. Next question. The Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II celebrated how many years of her reign? Who said? This one? Only a ghost got it wrong. Hmm, too easy. Alright, next question. People are always telling me I'm a Marnie. What the hell are they talking about? And the correct answer is... This. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's play a game. Ugh, look at this mess. There's blood all over this art. Ugh, the new blood is probably getting all mixed up with the old blood. Memorize the pattern of blood. <laughs> All right, that's enough time. You know, this game can get pretty hectic. I worked pretty hard on the timing. But let's take a moment to just relax for a little bit. Enjoy each other's company. Isn't this nice? We should do this more often. Anyway. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If your pattern is different than mine, I will kill you. Here's that art again. Let's see if you messed it up. Whoopsie! You done messed up. Terrible tragedy. I'd avoid that old diner on Route 7 if I were you. They serve soggy pancakes. I'd also avoid that old house up on the hill. They say terrible things happen there. A party game, but with creepy stuff added. I don't know, I think maybe I'd understand it better if I was a millennial. Four people died. Which everyone thought was terrible. Not me. Pick up a book once in a while and maybe you won't die on trivia shows. Horrible. Anyway, after all that, wouldn't you know it, the psycho up and kidnapped me. Chained me to the wall, and that pretty much brings us to now. Looks like this tape recorder is about to run out, so if anyone finds these tapes, I'm being held at... Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in.
Alright, time for Quiplash. Hey, good looking room. The people in it could use a little work, but the room is gorgeous. Time for round one. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious, or not, for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Use a safety clip if you can't think of anything. Okay, I hope you all made me proud. The first prompt is... The worst curse every full moon you turn into blank. Okay, vote for your favorite. Moving on, you know your house is too big when you have a room specifically for blank. Put in your votes.
next prompt. Warning, never put blank into a crock pot. Vote on your devices. Next in the hopper, a bad excuse when trying to return a sports bra. It's voting time! That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Ah. Round two is upon us and all points are doubled. Take that round one. Let's put up those quips. Starting us off, a terrible trade you can make with the devil. You give him your soul for blank. Okay, use your device to pick your favorite. Coming up next, a strange thing to yell when you find your first gray hair. Vote away. Next up, a promise you shouldn't make to a sick child. Ready, set, vote!
Your next prompt is First draft movie line Frankly my dear I blank Get to voting Round two is through. Let's see what it did to the scores. <laughs> We've made it to round three, the last lash. Focus up because you're all answering the same prompt. Complete the comic. Moment of truth. In the final round, you can give out one gold and one silver medal to your top two quips. Make them count. Okay, everyone, let's see who got those medals. Silver. And gold. Medals are nice, but points are even nicer. So... Okay, let's see those final scores. Welcome to Quiplash. I'm Schmitty, and I have nothing better to do right now. Hey, what are you guys doing after this? You have my number, right? Great. This is round one. The more people who vote for your answer, the better your score. Let's go.
time's running out. Use a safety quip if you need it. Okay, remember, this is all your fault. First one. A sign they should put up on the Florida state line. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Up next, something you should never say when pulled over by a small town sheriff. Time to vote. Next one, there should be greeting cards specifically for this situation. Vote now! And next is, if you pull your uncle's finger, he farts. If you push it, he blank. And vote. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> round two is pulling into the station with double the points and bonuses. Hit the safety quit button if you can't think of something. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see how you did. First off, something you should never think about while meditating. Okay, everybody pick your favorite. Next in line, the sound a black hole makes. Okay, vote. And next, how Papa Smurf plans to spend his retirement. It's voting time! Moving on, a weird skill left-handers are better at. Get to voting! That's all for round two. Let's see where the points went. Oh. Round three has arrived. The last lash. You're all going to answer the same prompt, so pull out all the stops. Finish the comic. Everybody's in! Pick your medal winners now! Nice, let's see who snagged the medals. 
Here's the silver. And gold. Great, let me just turn those metals into points for you. And we're finished. Show me those final scores. Welcome to Quiplash. I'm Schmitty, as if you didn't recognize me. Everybody strapped in? Good deal, let's do it. This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Alright, let's have a look. Up first, a fun activity that only requires three fingers. Okay, select your favorite quip. Next, the last thing a center wants to hear the quarterback whisper. Vote on your devices. Next on deck, how to make golf more exciting. Time to vote. Next on the list, the worst person who could sing the James Bond theme. 
Ready, set, vote! That's it for round one. Let's bring up the scoreboard. <laughs> now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. Oh, the drama. Almost out of time. Use the safety quip button if you have to. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. First up, what you wish you could say to yourself as a high schooler. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next, a question an insecure god would constantly ask. Vote away. Next in line, how do you seduce a bear? Put in your votes. Next up, a terrible name for a morning talk show. Vote now.
That's all she wrote for round two. Let's check the scores. Welcome to the last lash, the final round. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. Make up the full name for this acronym. Time to take a look. Decide who gets a medal. Let's see who earned those medals. Show me the silver. And finally, gold. Okay, let's change those medals into points. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
Shut up, shut up. 